All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you uh, have. Uh, always, you know, when we speak about Islam, we notice in you know in the new age of the internet that there is many you know source where you can learn supposedly about Islam. In the front of me, there is a page which is called the uh, TED. TEDx, which have millions of subscribers, and they invite always Muslims to, to, to teach you about Islam. And every single video of those videos in their channel is nothing but a big fat lie. And I can debunk them one by one so easy. Not a single statement in those videos are truthful or even close to what Islam is about. And they show you the hypocrisy of those people. Are they willing to show different opinion? Like somebody who don't agree with what those people say, or it's only what those people say is Islam. So obviously, this is form. They have a propaganda, and the propaganda to make Islam look nicer. I am proud talking about Muslim women. This is the topic. Why? Your prophet said in the Quran, beat them. Your wife the same as a tooth, so dig in your tooth as you wish when you wish. Your prophet says women are a half a brain. Most of women, they will go to hell. A Muslim in the airplane. What about an Arab Christian like me in the airplane who now became sus suspect of terrorism just because I'm an Arab, because of Islam? Understanding Allahu Akbar in Islam. Well, isn't it Muhammad said, shout Allahu Akbar so that you can install terror in the heart of the disbelievers? So now this woman, she will explain to us Allahu Akbar in Islam. What Islam really says about women? <laughs> what Islam really? I wish I can play those videos for you so we can die laughing. They bring you people who they are deceiving you in purpose and they put them in the form in front of you. And you as a naive American who have no idea what Islam is about, you go and you attend this show, which obviously is sponsored by big, big, big money, big stage, big, etc. I mean, you name it. Terrorism and Islam, and then a guy he stand and he say he tried to show you that Islam have nothing to do with terrorism. But isn't it Muhammad said I've been victorious by terror? The Muslim that you cannot see. Okay, what is that? Is that Muhammad? Gender equality in Islamic marriage. In Islam, there is gender equality. Hmm. Isn't it Muhammad who says no nation will be succeed if a woman she lead them? I mean, it's endless lies, and you are the victim. Brown, trans, queer, Muslim, and proud. Hmm. Well, isn't it Muhammad say the one who commit the act of the people of Lut? which mean homosexuality, kill him. So what this is about? And where and how we can learn about Islam from who? Is it from Christian Prince? <clears throat> Maybe Christian Prince, because as a Christian, he's trying to make Islam look ugly. From an atheist? Maybe because he don't like Islam, he tried to make Islam look ugly. So from who? The answer is very simple. We learn Islam from the founder of Islam. Not from he, not from she, not from me. If I say something to you, either show the proof and the reference, then I'm lying. All those who stood in the stage, did they show us anything? Where, where, where this is uh, this uh, in the stage coming from? Just we go in the stage and we claim things. Stage. Did the they show us anything? Allah. Where, where, where?
I hope my voice was not coming twice. Was it? I apologize if it was. So where are those things is coming from? Just we bring someone in the stage and he's starting us. Islam is amazing religion. What is that? So to make it simple, there's some some kind of people like I just saw a video of a of a congresswoman. Her name is Ilhan Omar. Ilhan Omar, she became a congressman not by the vote of Muslims, by the vote of the Democrat. And the Democrat always, you know, to present themselves that they are people who they are, you know, they bring everybody, which is fine, by the way. I, I'm not against anyone to be a congressman. I mean, that's not really a big deal for me. But here we see Congress uh, uh, Ilhan Omar dancing in the gay pride. Okay, but she claimed that she is a Muslim. And she is not only claiming she's wearing hijab, which means she is a conservative Muslim, supposedly. But then I saw a video for her in the bathroom dancing with American music. Isn't it the prophet? He says, those who play music, they are, that, that this is the instrument of shaitan. And those who will do that, Allah will punish them harshly in heaven, in hell. And now she is dancing. And this is her statement in the screen. I had fantastic time dancing, hanging, and celebrating the uh, the parade of the of the gays. So, which one of those people present Islam? Ilhan Omar, who is a Muslim, who gave us a speech about Islam, that she is a proud Muslim. Maybe Ilhan Omar, she did not know her prophet what he taught. I don't think so. Or maybe because she won the, to won the election, she do what she do. Maybe we do not know what the heart of people is But what we know that Islam is not Ilhan Omar for sure Islam is Muhammad the prophet of Islam Islam is not what anyone says except the founder Christianity is not what anyone says except Christ Anything Anyone who says something is not what's said by the founder, it's false. So when somebody tried to present to me Christianity, then he have to present to me what Christ said, not his own opinion. You are not the one who people follow, and you are not the founder, and not the you are not the one who supposedly Allah spoke to. Allah spoke to Muhammad, not to Ilhan Omar. And Muhammad, he made it clear. So, if you are an American and you are watching what you see in front of you, like in this uh, YouTube channel as an example, which Islam is the one you believe it is Islam? What those people, they say to you? Islamophobia. Islamophobia is a term Created just to silence anyone who want to expose Islam the second you say something about Islam They say to you are a phobia the fact Islam is the origin of phobia The Muslim they pray five times a day saying please Allah don't make us the same as the cursed Jews and the lost Christians Five times a day. They cannot even pray without attacking us The first thing in the morning before even they clean their bomb. They have to say that a Muslim, he have a phobia from pork, he have a phobia from the bell of, of the church, he have a phobia from the cross, he have a phobia from anything. Yet we are the one who have a phobia. A Spanish team want to go and play in the in Emirat, they ask them to take the cross from the logo. Do you believe it? They ask them. If you want to play in Emirat, you have to take the cross of the logo. Who is the one have a phobia? There is some towns in Germany, they stop festival for the pork because the Muslim get offended. How are you offended by me eating pork? What your business? It goes in my mouth, not in your mouth. That is a phobia. So always they flip the facts upside down and they 
claim what is on them it is on you Islamic spiritual revival in Sharia in Islam there is a spiritual revival in and the Sharia I wish I can play that so we can dial up in because this will be the best committee we're in hijab in the video they will teach you that we're in I'm proud to wear hijab you're right what about millions of women who don't want to wear hijab you are proud to wear hijab okay good for you I'm by the way I'm not against any woman to dress as she wish wear hijab so what but about women who they are forced to wear hijab can a woman in Saudi Arabia go without hijab and what will happen to her next if she don't wear hijab the phobia of Islam that if a woman you're a prophet he said if a woman she put the makeup or she put the perfume she became an adulteress but he himself he have no problem to look at women bum when they are walking around and he accused the women that they are they come in the image of shaitan satan and they live in the image of shaitan satan so always they try to present to us something have nothing to do with islam to say i am islam they bring us someone in the in the in the in the, uh, in the stadium or in the stage like uh, one of you he sent me uh, an image of uh, turkish uh, uh, we cannot call him german because himself he called himself turkish uh, in Germany who play in the German he used to play in the German uh, uh, team uh, for football and uh, Erdogan he went to attend his uh, marriage but Erdogan is a Muslim it is censure the news Here we go. Erdogan, he attended the wedding of this man, German football Ozil Thais. Oh, I don't know what to say his name to read it correctly. Okay. But look at this. Look at the irony. Just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muslim world. So we have a Muslim wedding. The president, who is in a Muslim brotherhood, who everybody in his house wear hijab, standing next to a woman, she is the pride, and she's almost showing half of her chest. And supposedly this is a Muslim wedding. Somebody sent me a video of this uh, football player. He have a black dog. But isn't it the prophet, he said that the one who have a black dog, Allah will punish him severely and he will take off his deeds for every day he holds that dog. Every day he have a dog, Allah will punish him severely so in order just to uh, for a political agenda Erdogan he is willing to compromise his God his religion and stand there with people who were dancing you know with short skirts etc and you should see the wedding and Erdogan he have no problem So where we learn Islam from Erdogan or from this football player you know they use football football players like uh, the Egyptian Muhammad Salah to present for you a new image of Islam okay I am my name is Muhammad I am a football player and see Islam is a great because of me what 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 your foot have to do with Islam
few days ago we saw uh, uh, the Indonesian were upset that there is a uh, um, an actor who converted to Islam is that will make Islam great because an actor converted to Islam this is because some people they are weak-minded and they feel weak he's an actor you are worried about an actor who converted to Islam. You are not worried about your children going to Saudi Arabia and used into slavery. Let him convert to Islam. At least this guy, he chose himself. Nobody force him. What's your business? And I believe this guy, he is seeking a political agenda. He will go next for election. He knew. He know, he, he saw what happened to the, uh, uh, the, the mayor of Jakarta the, uh, uh, when... He is a Christian. He's a Chinese Christian. He was elected. They took him to jail Just because they accused him that he insulted Islam So he learned the lesson He want to go for politics and the only way is to convert to Islam convert to Islam and then we will make you a president And by the way it might work again against Islam because this guy obviously he is not convinced of Islam He is just using Islam. So if we became president. He might even give a freedom more to people. You never know <laughs> Maybe they are happy now to have somebody who converted to Islam, but later he will beat them up and then they cannot complain because he's a Muslim. You know what I mean? So we do not learn about Islam from somebody claim something, saying something. We learn it from Muhammad himself. Why you want to learn from this guy? And how you can trust this guy on this or this person uh, if he is a truthful or not this is the idea to learn you know uh, the books in front of us I learn about Jesus from Jesus not from a priest what if the priest is corrupt and liar hmm there's a child molesters, there's a criminals, there is there's many, many people they take a job just as a job. They are not even Christians. Same as many Muslims. Erdogan, he claimed that he is a Muslim who is proud about Islam and he, he don't say anything except Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim. But Turkey is the land of nightclubs. Number one income for Turkey is sex, sex ter uh, 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 tourism. To the point when somebody he said to uh, to, to the mufti why Erdogan don't close the night clubs the mufti of Turkey he says to him well the night clubs is the one paying for your salary and my salary so in the out in the stage they are Muslims and they want to Islam is the best but nobody want to practice Islam they don't want to practice Islam which country which Islamic country is a practice in Sharia law now where Egypt Iraq Kuwait Emirat even Saudi Arabia they practice almost maybe 60% of it there's no Christian in Saudi Arabia pages here. Nobody. They cannot practice it. Yeah, it's impossible. Even Brunei, they made a law to execute gays and lesbians, and they took it down. They backed down. Where? Well, I don't know. I saw in the news that the, the ruler of uh, Brunei, he took it down, the law of uh, uh, Giza. He make a law, yes, that he want to go practice Sharia law, but I think they changed because he faced a lot of uh, pressure on him. Master, one more time, you repeat that, I will ban you from my... People will think that you are being racist now, Mr. Master. People will not understand that this is what Muhammad said. So next time you want to say something, be smart. 
All right? Don't be a foolish. So I wanted to make this video to, to make it simple. We should not learn Islam or Christianity or Hinduism or any anything from somebody have nothing to do with it just because he's a Muslim or a Christian. We learn Christianity from the teaching of Christ. We learn Islam from the teaching of Muhammad. As simple as that. When somebody says something to you, well, tell him, okay, well, where? Where you get this from? When somebody says to you, Islam support women. Okay, I want to see where Islam support women. Muhammad was not a terrorist. Hmm. Look, this is a Muslim. Just to show you an example how Muslim new age Muslims. And that's why I say today I want to speak about the new age Muslims. Because Muslims, they try their best to deny the truth by making false claim. Can you support what you just said, Mahdi? That Muhammad was not a terrorist. Here we go. You made a statement. I am willing to listen to you. And you prove me wrong. You make a statement. It is time to prove the statement. Uh, we just said, we don't learn from Christian prince. We don't learn from a Muslim. We learn from Muhammad. What do you say? Let us read the Quran and get you busted. Talk is a cheap. Talk is a cheap. Chapter 3, 33, verse number 26. This is a verse about cutting the necks of the Christians, beheading them, and taking them as slaves. And those of people of the scriptures who back them, the disbelievers, Allah brought them down from their forts and cast terror in their heart. So a group of them you kill and a group of them you take them as slaves. Is that Islam or this is, uh, are you going to say to me this is Sunni? This is Quran. And this is an example about how Muslims they try to defend by fabricating lies. Oh, Muhammad have nothing to do with this. Uh, are you sure? That can't be true. One of you is lying. Either Allah or you, Mahdi, you are lying. What about Ali was burning people alive? Ali, your God, he burned them alive. So what a Muslim today, he says to us, all oh, those oral fabrication against Islam, it's not true. This is Quran. What about cutting their necks and even cutting their fingertips? Have you ever heard of religion of peace? Enjoy cutting fingertips and toes? Read it. I just saw a Muslim, he was saying that the Prophet of Allah was sent mercy for mankind. Where is the mercy in killing people by torturing them, not only killing them? I will cast terror in the heart of those who disbelieve so strike over their necks and submit over all their fingers and toes. Is that Islam or this is something not Islamic? Hmm? Are we making things up? This is Quran. This your God, he taught you to be a horror movie hero. 
you capture somebody because by the way this is not about killing no more this is about torture because now you capture them nobody will give you his toes to, to cut it off this is after you capture them you enjoy cutting their fingers and their toys and your prophet Muhammad he did exactly that and not only that he put nails in the eyes of his enemies He put nails in the fire and he gagged out, gogged out the eyes of his enemies. So all the Islamic propaganda we hear in the TEDx show, all the uh, what they say to us about Allah, Islam, merciful, love, blah, 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 is a garbage. Mahdi he's saying what about a cruel killing in the Old Testament that is showing your ignorance which one the Old Testament believe eye for an eye they do to them what they did to them they attack them the, the, the Jews themselves they've been enslaved twice the whole nation and just to get you busted I don't know maybe we have a Muslim Salam alaikum brother can you hear me Hello? Hello? How, how are you, brother? I'm fine. Why are you calling me, my friend? Don't call me, please. Uh... No, don't call me back. This is this is uh, you know. Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, you can call me. You just call me a brother, so you cannot be a Muslim. A Muslim, he cannot call a Muslim brother. Since when a Muslim he can call somebody brother? Well, you are a false Muslim then. I mean, according to your prophet. <laughs> the Quran says, the, the, uh, you know, the, the, the only the believers are brothers, only. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. You cannot even take me as a friend. So how you can take me, you call me brother. This is Quran, chapter 5, verse 51. And this is an example how Muslims sometimes they say things to you which is far away from their religion. Brother, brother, you're right. They say to us that in the attack in Australia, which made by made, made by a crazy man who attacked a mosque, obviously he's mental, this man who did that. The guy in the mosque, he said to him, brother, he thought he's a Muslim. That's why he called him brother. Otherwise, Muslims, they are not allowed to call somebody brother. It's forbidden. Even your brother from your blood is not allowed to call him brother chapter 9 verse number 23 and you see we don't say things we prove it here we go as long as your brother and your father your real father not uh, stiff father not you know can you hear me Kafir? yes hello yes um so um can i can, can you hear me good yeah i hear you go ahead okay well i have to block you if you call me one more time and you don't talk actually i will block you i have no time for kids so as you see, and by the way, the translation here is messed up. Oh, who do you believe? Don't take your fathers and brothers as a friends and protectors. Not supporters. What supporters? Why they are homeless? What supporters? And why we cannot take them? 
because simply they are not Muslims. So Islam teach you that there is only friends to each other, brothers to each other, only the Muslims. Take not Christians and Jews. As simple as that. So they can fool you and they can lie to you and they can say whatever they want, but this is far away from the truth. Talk is cheap. Prove what you say. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Chapter 5, verse 51. So how they go and say, my friend, The chapter is so clear that a Muslim, even he cannot be an American citizen or a British citizen or a German citizen. Because how you can be a citizen of England or a citizen of Germany or USA or Canada or etc. And you cannot take their constitution as constitution, your, their police as your police, their army as your army, their president as your president. So how the Muslim take an oath to take a citizenship? Either they are lying or they are not Muslims. Which means they are Muslim by name. Where Ali, he burned the people? Well, that's very easy. Hello. Yes, Abdul. Yes, Kafir. Um, that ayah does not say uh, friends, actually. Huh? Actually, it doesn't say friends. Which one? Ayah, it said, oh. Which one? I think, uh, okay, let us see if this is true or not. Read the translation. The Muslim it's translation. Not, read, yeah, the Muslim the Muslim read the Muslim translation. Read the Muslim translation. I need the verse number, please. You, you don't even know what verse number we are talking about, and you are calling me to say it doesn't say that. This is how hypocrite no, you are. No, so I'm how sure. you say how you say to me it doesn't say that, but you do not know which verse we are talking about. I, I just reference it to you. No, you just said it don't. You just said it doesn't say that, and now you are asking me what is the verse number. Oh, I looked at the YouTube. I looked at the YouTube, and there's no reference number on the YouTube. In it. What do you mean there is no reference? You just said to me what is the verse. So how you give me an answer saying it doesn't say that if you don't even know what we are talking about? So you talking? I think you're talking about the Yair Dina. Well, yeah, you, you think? I think you know. This is how hypocrite you are. So you do not know what verse we are reading. You do not know where we are reading from, and you jump to call me to say it doesn't say that. This is how hypocrite. Okay, now we go to the to the to the business. Chapter five, verse fifty-one. It's in the front of you on the screen. Read it. Yeah, it's just, uh, there's only fifty-one. It doesn't say the surah. Okay, read it. Read it. Yeah, where did he say Astikha? He didn't say Astikha, he didn't say Sahabi, he didn't say nothing. He just says Awliya, Awliya means allies. So, why are you trying okay, to say that? What, 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 explain to us Awliya, so we can love together. What is Awliya? Allies. Okay, so if somebody here is your allies, it means he's your friend. No, 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 we're not allowed to take allies. This, this is war. This is, this, 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 Hello, this, how is this war? Allies. This guy is your, is, this guy, he is in your side. Yeah. He, he don't want to kill you. This is what ally means. It means he is not going to kill you. He's your friend. Somebody who stand with me to fight with me against my enemy. He cannot be my enemy, number one. And he must be a very close friend, not only a friend, because he want to fight with me to the point he want to die to protect me. So you are saying to me it doesn't say friend, but what you just said proving to me that you are a fool because the word Aulia, you said that those are allies with you in, in the war. So they are willing yes. to die for you to protect you. So they are more than a friend. They are not because well, not, not, not every said. not every friend will go and die for me to defend me. Understood. Those are willing to die you to protect you. you. Okay, so now it's a friend. So you have to admit that this is about the friends. And protectors, they are not only friends. Give you example. Like, not, don't give me an example. You, Stop lying. You know you, I get your busted you, always. Stop lying. It, are you, aren't you the one who said? Aren't you the one who said this is about war? Aren't you the one who said this is about war? So they will stand with you to sometimes, fight side by side with you. Sometimes it's in the interest of the other nation to help you, not not because they are friends. It's because it's in their own interest to help you. Chapter nine, verse number twenty-three. It says the same yeah. word. They are your father and your brother from your family. Chapter nine, verse twenty-three. 
Now you're jumping again. Now you're jumping. No, we are not jumping. You, you, we are using the same word, awliya. It says, don't take them as awliya. You said, you, you just lie. You say, this is about other country. Muhammad didn't have awliya from different country. What country? Right. Secondly, so what? what about you having your having awliya from your father and your brother from your blood? Surah 9, what? 23. Hmm. Well, from that verse, awliya means ally. Let's get that twisted. Your translation said, friends, so you need to stop lying to the people, please. My say friends, friends oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, means allies. You okay. know that for yourself. My, the translation, this is my translation saying that. I didn't say friend in Arabic. I didn't say friend in Arabic. Oh, hold on. You, you, did you just say this is my translation saying that? Yeah, the translation that you had in the page. The okay, who is the one who translated that page? Is he a Muslim or is he a Hindu? Is he is he a Muslim or he's a Hindu? I don't, I listen, that, that's not the question. This is the, the question. You, you said to me, this is a translation. Your translate. This is not my translation. I'm asking you. Who is the one who translated what we have in the screen? We're trying to use a translation that fits your agenda. So let's use the. Okay, what? Okay, what is the best translation for the Quran you advise us to read? Sahih International. Sahih International. Guy, did he say Sahih International? He said that, right? Okay, we, hold on. We will go to Sahih International. In two seconds from now, you. Hold on. You won't see Hold on. Hold on. In two seconds, you will bite your your tongue and you will say, "I don't want Sahih International." Oh, let's go back to the eye that you just uh, okay hold on hold on hold on because you want to play the game okay 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 let us go to sahih international why we want to waste our time my friend sahih, inter sahih international hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on are you afraid are you afraid of some sahih international are you afraid of some sahih okay so you choose sahih international we will go there okay Oh. Let's go there. Hold on. And let's see if he says friends. Yeah, let's see if he says friends. Hmm. Let us see what it says. Whatever it says, we will take it. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if he says friends or allies. Hmm. It says allies, no problem. But you accept? Ah, uh, you accept? Ah, so he says allies then. Oh, no, no. I, I, I know. I know what Sahih International says. But I want to get you busted I, from Sahih. Why, I want to get you busted from Sahih International. Do you accept Sahih International to translating for the Quran? You said yes. Yes or no? Yeah, let's read this ayah. Right? No, not only this ayah. Do you accept this translation or you don't? Why are you changing now? Let's read this We ayah. are not changing. We are not changing. I want to show everybody that you will change your mind in two seconds from now. Do you accept this Sahih International translation or you don't? Can you carry on? Yes, I, I told you. you know. yeah. Okay, so whatever the Sahih International says, you accept. Most accurate one, to my knowledge. You know? What, what? It's the most accurate one. Okay. In Sahih International, it says, Oh, who you believe not, take not the Jews and the Christian as allies. We go right now and see what allies mean in the same Sahih International. Is that okay? We go to chapter 9. Hold on. Chapter 9, verse number 23. Say the same thing. Oh, yeah, means allies. No problem. No problem. Let us laugh together. All right. Oh, who you believe. Do not take your father and your brother as allies if they Ally. have a preferred disbelief. Okay, so allies for you is not a friend. So in Islam, you cannot even take a friend. He is your brother and your father. No, this is talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is talking so, about. Okay, uh, who is your father for you? If he cannot be, if he cannot be your protector, your brother, he cannot be. Who is he? Is he your enemy? This is talking about your father, your brother. If he's I'm asking brother, you, is he your he enemy? He cannot, he cannot be, he cannot be your, he cannot be your protector, right? He cannot be, not take your father as allies, allies. Oh, no problem. What allies mean? You said to me in the case of war, you said that to me. War, okay, ally with okay. Them. Can you take your father, your brother from your religion as allies? You said no. No, he's not my friend. He's not what say that again. Your brother, your brother from your family, from your blood. Can you yeah, take yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Can you take him as allies to you? No, if he's a kafir. Okay, so what he is, he's an enemy, right? Because why he cannot take him? Because he's an enemy. He's an enemy to Allah. The enemy to Thank Allah. you very much. So as long as he is an enemy for Allah, that's mean you cannot take him as a friend. No, no, no. That's a lie again. You change it again. Listen, so you, you just said he is the enemy of Allah. And as long as he is the enemy of Allah, can you take him as a friend? Stop playing games as long as you agree that he is the enemy yeah, yeah. of Allah. Right. Can you take him as a friend? Somebody he is an enemy to Allah. You can't take him as a close friend. This is, you see? You see the hypocrite? 
He, yeah, you know, he, now he, he added the word the closer friend. Either you take him as a friend or not. Stop playing games. I don't understand you. We were talking about allies. He didn't say allies. He didn't say you friends. are. You oh, are the one who said. said you see, I'm, tr I'm trying to show people your deception and your lies. You okay, are professional in deception, but you are a fool. So you just this. said. You just said they are. Why we cannot take them as allies? Because they are the enemy of Allah. Okay. Can you take the enemy of Allah as a friend? Yes or no? Can you take the enemies of Allah as a friend? Mm. Yeah. It depends. It depends on the situation. Don't tell me you don't depend. Uh, depend? What depend? Are you Muslims are, are doing protests now? Give, what depend? I am. So I want an answer. Can give. you take? Can you take them as a friends? Yes or not? Not close friends, but you can take them as friends. Yeah. You are a liar. Okay. Show me where it says in the old Islamic books you cannot take them as close friends. You can take them as a friend, yeah, but you cannot take them as a Muslim as, as a closer. You are a big fat liar. What if I show you now? Right now? Right, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um, tafsir. You want tafsir? Okay, guys. Tafsir. Did he say to see Okay, here we go. No problem. Here we go. Who's Mukhaila? Who's Mukhaila? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Hold on, Abdul. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Quran. Shut up. This is this is you are the one who said Tafsir and you speak Arabic. I want you to read for me. I'm reading. I'm looking at my own Tafsir. I know what own Tafsir. You have different Tafsir. Read for me. Read, read in the screen. I'm giving you the reference in it. One second. I'm giving you the reference. I'm giving you tafsir. Yeah, what tafsir is that? Hmm. And this is your Islamic website. This is the fatwa too. يقول الإمام القرطبي رحمه الله نهى الله عز وجل المؤمنين بهذه الآية أن يتخذ من الكفار واليهود وأهل الأهواء دخلاء وولجاء يعني أصدقاء ومقربين. Translate, 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 translate. I buy Al Imam Al Qurtubi, and this is the fatwa. Fatwa number. Here we go. Fatwa number. Stop lying. Fatwa number. Two 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 zero seven four one. Two two zero four two two zero seven four one. Does it say that or not? Translate to everybody, please. You say I know what you say, but it's not hujja for me. Quran, you are the one who said to me, give me tafsir. Aren't you the one who said to me, give me tafsir? Quran, Ijma, and the Aren't you the one who said, okay, okay, hold on, okay. What the word sahab mean? Sahab. Sahab, sahab means companion, in his friend. Friend, okay. Did your prophet says ever, don't take a friend? Okay, so Sheikh Uthaymin says we're allowed to. Don't, allowed to change, don't change the topic. Don't change, don't, don't, don't change the topic. Don't, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Did your prophet say, don't, you are the one I asked you what sahab mean. You said a friend, correct? Here we go. Sahab, sahab. Yes, sahaba. You said to me a friend. Take a friend. Yes, oh, thank you. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, don't take as a friend except a believer. Yes or no? Sheikh Uthaymin says we can. Sheikh Salah Al-Fuzan says we can. Unbelievable. Who's Mukhaila? Mukhaila was a Jew. Shut up, you idiot. You are just a coward kid. You see, you call me each time I get you busted from your words and you try to play games as much as you think you are smart but you are dumb. Because wherever you go, I have tons of reference to get you busted. The same as yesterday, you told me, uh, I asked you, uh, did Adam commit sin by his choice or by Allah's choice? He said both. <laughs> when, the, when the hadith says, do you blame me for what Allah decreed, an action decreed to me to do? And yet you says to me, both. You are a liar. Shame on you. Yeah. I'm glad you 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 descend that you are a liar. <laughs> Don't be friend anyone except a believer. Don't even accompany anyone. By the way, translation here is not accurate. The word sahaba is a friend. The, the companion of Muhammad is his friends, the close of friends. So don't accompany even to eat with them. And don't even serve food to someone is the Muslim. Don't feed non-Muslims. 
you feed only people who they are Muslims and what he would say he would say the Sahih is this hadith is Sahih is, is weak no it's not it is Sahih so look what we show them the Quran and if we go to the interpretation of the verses all the interpretation this guy he says to me uh, show me Ibn Kathir did he say Ibn Kathir let us go to Ibn Kathir so we die laughing Hypocrite, and this is what I'm talking about. The new age of Muslims who they are ashamed of their cult, so they try to fabricate meaning is not exist there, just in order. By the way, if this guy he speaks to Muslims, I assure you, he will say, Yes, we should not friend them. But because now he is trying to defend Islam, we are speaking in English in front of everybody, and non people will see how 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 ugly Islam is. So we have to practice taqiyya. This is the chapter nine, verse number. 23 hmm. Let us see Let us see what Ibn Kathir he said and this is the Muslim translation in the screen and by the way He is the one who said Ibn Kathir Allah commanding shunning the disbelievers even if they are one of your parents children's forbidden to take them as supporters as if they choose disbelieve continue you are not to find people who believe in Allah in the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah. Do you see it, you coward liar? And you are the one who said to me, you want to read Ibn Kathir. You are not. It's not fit. Do you see how we get them busted? liars they have no shame this is why you cannot learn islam from muslims for they they are a continual lying machine they try to hide the truth from you that islam is nothing but a racist cult because muslim taught that they are a race they are an ummah which means they are the best of mankind. What Muhammad the racist he said about that? He says that the best of mankind are the Muslims who bring them and the chains around their necks. That is Islam. That is Islam, my friend. Muslims are the best of mankind and the rest are not our friends the rest are enemies and we have to bring them with the chains and Then we convert them to Islam by forcing them as slaves because convert or die or stay slave all your life they will convert By the chains we make them go to heaven supposedly Abu Huraira reported apostle of Allah as saying our Lord most high is Charmed with people who will be led to paradise in chains. <laughs> Do you believe it? What an ugly, disgusting cult. And if you ask a Muslim about slavery, they say Islam is against slavery. When Islam, Allah Himself, it charmed. Allah rejoice when He see people in chains. forget about the Shia you know we, we we spoke yesterday about the Shia Shia is the same garbage is the same as a Sunni so Allah what Allah is charmed with the people who will be able to let to I mean this is the best joy man look people they are coming chains and they're in their feet chains in their hands and now we will get them to, to paradise what do you want more Muhammad is doing charity for you he is enslaving you with the chains, not because he likes slavery. He want to save you from going to hell. But do you see how they lie? Did you? I'm glad that this guy he called us to show you an, a, a living example about how they lie and how they deny their own cult. Did you witness it, guys, by your own eyes? This guy for more than 50 minutes playing all the games saying it doesn't say friendship. It doesn't say friendship. It doesn't say friendship. And he is the one who mentioned Ibn Kathir. He said, let me open Ibn Kathir. I showed him Al-Qurtubi. He don't want Al-Qurtubi. He said Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir.
Conclusion We cannot le learn Islam from Muslims. We cannot. You just witness a Muslim who teaches Islam. The only Muslim who can really teach the true Islam is somebody is a member in ISIS and he don't live in USA. He live in ISIS a control area. Then he will say to you, Allah Akbar, we will kill you. We will. This is the truth. And this guy, when he sat with his friends and his family, they curse us day and night. Not just kuffar, those Christians, evil, blah, 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 all. But here he says, I am. I can take you as a friend, but not a closer friend. What does that mean? And look at the look at the look how they play with the words. I can take you as a friend, but not as a closer friend. And this is the reference of Ibn Kathir. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English is not even maybe twenty percent of Ibn Kathir in Arabic. They chop all the crazy stuff from Arabic and they delete it. So you can trust, by the way, this translation to be Ibn Kathir. I'm just warning you. I have all the collection of Ibn Kathir, Tafsir, in my shelf. In Arabic, as it is. In a book printed maybe 300 years ago. And you will find that there is many things almost everything is in Ibn Kathir in Arabic cannot be found here as an example the story of al gharaniq where Muhammad he bow down with the with the pagans is gone in English the whole story is gone so to make it simple Islamic translated books is made for propaganda purpose not to teach Islam they don't teach you Islam Muslim who try to speak to us in English they are lying to you the only truthful Muslims who speak about Islam is when Arab speaking to Arab in the Saudi airline <clears throat> I don't know how it is now I saw a brochure in one side it says welcome to Saudi Arabia actually this is why when you are leaving uh, they, I mean it's the same brochure for coming or leaving so uh, uh, we welcome you blah 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 in English very nice words in the second page it's in Arabic there's a prayer it says please Allah don't make us die in the, the in the land of the Najis the Kuffar please Allah bring us back to the land of the, the pure land of Allah racism the land of non-Muslims is dirty disgusting the same brochure the one in Arabic is full of racism, hateful teaching, and the one in English will come to Saudi Arabia and uh, or take care when you are leaving. You know, we hope you enjoy your stay with us. So this is a religion forbid Muslims to take even their father and their brother and even their sons as their friends. So how somebody want to tell me I have a Muslim friend? I remember once in the Philippines, I was meeting with the uh, senator. His name uh, uh, P Peter Catayano. Uh, he, he is the, he's the foreign minister. So I made a, like uh, I spoke to him and I asked him questions about Islam. And then there is a Christian, supposedly uh, a priest from Canada. Uh, he is from a church. It's called Anabapt Ana. And a Baptist, something like this. I forgot the name. And then this guy he get upset from me from the way I was talking to the senator. And he said to me, So what do you do? I said, I do teach. He said, I see like you divide people. As to how how I divide people. I just quote what the Quran says. He said, I have many Muslim friends. He said, Well. You have Muslim friends, but Quran says Muslims cannot take you as a friend. He said, no, no, you don't understand. I have a friend. They are Muslims. I said, I understand. But if they are true Muslims, they cannot take you as a friend. He said, why well, you are not listening? And the guy is so upset from me. You should see his face. I said, you are the one who is not listening. You are trying to play dumb. 
the Quran says take not Christians and Jews here we go let me show you and the coward he flee then I went to his Facebook and I found him posting statement from the Prophet Muhammad which is all of it is fabrication about being friendly being nice and picture of Muhammad supposedly are you a minister a Christian minister in Philippine or you are preaching Islam he is those are more dangerous than Muslim liars lying to us about Islam because they try to manipulate Islam and make it something else he is supposedly a minister but then you send your child to learn about Jesus you find him teaching you about Muhammad and then I got him busted in Facebook I humiliated him and those are Christian they used to go to his church they discovered that he is a big scam I said to him, who is the Antichrist? Isn't it the Bible says the one who denied the father, the son? Who was a mute, the coward. And I said, my problem is not the Muslims. I'm not fighting Muslims. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm exposing the cult of Islam. Friend, as many as you wish. For me, I have no problem to take Muslim friends too. But because I know that Muslims are not allowed to take me as a friend, that will be a fool to trust a Muslim. He says to me, I'm your friend. Because how I know... If he is a practice in Taqiyya or he's a practice in reality. Let me show you what the Muslims believe and what they teach him in their schools. Not only in the Quran. Let us see the interpretation. As Muslims interpretate their religion, not us. Because always you should not, you know, you should not uh, uh, give interpretation as you wish. But not as a Muslim wish too. As it is, as it is for 14 centuries, not as somebody today trying to fool me and says this is not what Islam teach. We have a scholars who don't, they are the, the only source of Islam Muslims listen to. This is the cousin of Muhammad Ibn Abbas, which means this is from the time of Muhammad almost. Let not the believers take the disbelievers, etc., and they call us hypocrite. We are the hypocrites, supposedly. Take them as a friend. But look what it says. And the one who take them as a friend, he is one of them. And by the way, chapter 5, verse 51 says that. If you take them as a friend, you are one of them. Okay, what will happen next? Read when you carefully. And the one who is sincere by seeking might and honor, by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers as a friend, he has no connection with Allah has no honor mercy or protection from Allah unless look at the unless unless you ye ye but guard yourself against them taqiyya save yourself from them by talking uh, or taking as it were security saving yourself from them by speaking a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this a Muslim, he says to you, if people capture you in war, don't you lie to save yourself? This is not about war. Those people don't want to take your friends. What war? It says, take them not as a friends. What war? The liar, he says to me, that the word awliya does not mean a friends. Look like the cousin of the prophet is a donkey. He do not know what the word awliya mean. To the point, he says, don't take them as a friends. And this Abdullah from YouTube, He is the one who will teach Muhammad and Ibn Abbas. Oh, by the way, Ibn Abbas is the only person Muhammad he prayed to Allah to make him Hebrew Ummah, which means the ink of his scholarship. Look like Allah prayer did not uh, Muhammad prayer did not work because if he is bad, he's stupid. That's mean you Muslims in trouble. So a Muslim he can speak to you in a friendly way, as long it is a security. We live in America. If he say I support he support ISIS, he will be in he will be arrested. So what we do? We speak in a friendly way. Uh, we support the, the government, we support etc. We take an oath. Yeah, but our heart is like this. Allah He judge you by what is in your heart, not by what you say. That is Islam.
All right. So always we need to remember that there is some people try, especially from the Muslims, try to present for you Islam in a very false form. It's not exist. It is not Islamic to make it simple. The Islam they speak about, it is not Islamic. They made tons of articles saying ISIS is not Islam. Name for me one thing ISIS did is not Islamic. What? Muhammad, he cut a woman two pieces. Her name is Umm Qurfa, and she is the over the age of uh, 88 years. By tying her legs in two different camels, and he ordered them, he pushed them to run in different direction. He cut her two pieces alive. So, my friend. To make it short and simple, Islam, no one present Islam except Islam. Don't take words and speeches of liars. Anyone say something to you, including me, let him show me. Have you ever heard a Christian prince saying something he don't show it to you on the screen? For how, how long you, you, uh, you guys follow my videos? Have you ever read my books? I say something. It's not the reference there. Never. There's many things actually. I wanted to add in my books, but I did not add it because I could not get the reference. Why? Because I am living in America. I could not get the books because I had to add the page number. I cannot just say in the book of etc. It says that I remember word by word. And not all the books is exist in the internet. So there is many books, many references I wanted to add to my books, but I cannot because it's not right to say in the book of etc. It says etc. Okay, what? Okay, we are in the book of etc. I don't want to do what the Muslim do. The Muslim they fabricate lies and they say George Bernard Shaw. He says if the Prophet of Allah Muhammad was exist, he can solve all the problem in the world in ten minutes or actually five minutes. Okay, which book we can find that George Bernard Shaw say that? We cannot find the book because it's a lie. George Bernacho says that. After I die, maybe 20, 30 years from now, maybe tomorrow, you never know. The Muslim, they will make articles saying Christian Prince, he converted to Islam uh, the day he died. He put his finger up to Allah. They are allowed to lie, as you see. This is and the funny the page in the front of us call us hypocrites when Muhammad saying to them you, you can say something and do something Isn't this a clear hypocrisy? While Jesus says don't even take oath Either you say yay yay or nay nay and anything else is from the devil Muhammad saying the opposite you can say something and in your heart is something else you hate them All right, but I'm glad that this Muslim he called because when they call us, they get their prophet busted. That's wonderful. All right, guys. Next Friday, next Friday, I think around eight uh, p.m., uh, I will be with the brother David Wood and uh, Sam Shamoon in the channel of David. Anyway, I will post. Uh, I will make a post about it and the link underneath. Uh, later still we are early for that but I just received uh, from brother David that this is coming Friday okay and the good thing is going to be around 8 p.m. in our time which means it's going to be 8 a.m. in the morning for those who live in Asia like Indonesia Philippines etc so all of you can join us all right so our mission is tough because we are fighting lies we are not debating truthful people who believe in religion. This is why debating Muslims is not a debate. When David Wood was debating with Mimi Hijab, everything David he said in the debate was absolutely true. Hijab, he denied all, being untruthful. Like the same as this guy now. Imagine debating this guy in a stage, what we can do. They play with the words. 
and this is why having a debate like this in the screen showing the reference on the screen is a lot better than debating like you he said she said because people will get confused which one of them is lying now show me reference in the screen like David Wood he said to Mimi hijab uh, Allah has hands foot shin he have body parts uh, Mimi hijab says who said so your prophet says so the Quran said so and he knew that this is the truth this is why you don't debate Muslims you have to learn how to trap the person so he can give the honest answer because honest answer will not come unless you trap him the same as I did with this guy I said to him what I mean he says does not doesn't say it doesn't mean friendly okay so that's what it mean he says they are your allies okay so he said what is this is where he says in war okay so this person uh, he can be a protector to you but he cannot be he cannot be a protector to you but he can can be your friend he said yes I said okay let's go to chapter 29 23 and I said okay in that case he said that he this is about countries war about countries so you can take a friend but this is not really friendship just for the war thing what about your father and your brother and then he got himself busted so always you have to drive them because truth will never come from their mouth unless you squeeze it out I never really you will find the Muslim being truthful it's like a real coin A mistake maybe so anyway I think we have enough for today feel free guys to download the videos and uh, if I can go live on air again later in a few hours from now I will don't forget please to download the video the video take maybe 15 minutes to load all of it before you can download it and again those who don't find my video which I just did let us say 24 hours ago you can just copy the title which we made in my post in Facebook etc you don't find it copy the title post this title in YouTube search for it and go to the filter choose last 24 hours and you will find many people who downloaded my videos and posted and you can download it or you can watch it depend what you want no, it's not a quick really. I wanted actually I should make it shorter, but this is what short video for Christian Prince, what you can do. You see, I'm trying to make it shorter because people complaining, not all people they have uh, a good internet to download and share, and there's people who they are in Nigeria and Africa, and their internet is horrible. So long videos is impossible for them to download. So I'm trying to make it shorter, you know, as I can, but I apologize. Shorter video for me is kind of an impossible. To make 15 minute video that's is really going to be hard for me because you see the second you speak about something then reference come from everywhere and then i find myself short in the topic if i don't uh, let us say give you a complete image of the topic you know what i mean otherwise you can make it short you can say the prophet he says this okay and done But remember, we need. I am here not to show you reference. I'm here to teach you how to debate and how to get busted, get them busted, as we did now. This is a life experience for you. This is not just showing reference with you so you learn. It's about how to get them busted. And remember always, you will never debate a Muslim. They play games. Muslims are not people to debate. Even their God, Muhammad, when the Christian they wanted to debate him, what he said. Look at the answer. He is a game player. He have no answer. A group of Christians from Ethiopia, supposedly, they came to Muhammad and they wanted to debate him. 
What Muhammad say to them? Okay, hold on. Allah told me this. If any uh, Christians they come to you to debate you about Jesus, okay, uh, in this matter, what about Jesus? Okay, tell them. Okay, bring your sons and our sons. Bring yourself and ourself. Bring your wives and our wives, and let us curse each other. Curse. Uh, ask Allah to curse the one is lying. I mean, have, have you ever done a debate like this? So Islamic debate as is a following. I give the mic to Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab he says, "May Allah curse me and cut my nose if I'm lying." Christian Prince, your turn. Okay, my Allah cut my toes if I'm lying. Okay, your turn. I mean, this is a debate. If this is the Prophet and this is God talking, the one is talking here is the the God of the Abdul, the biggest Abdul. Cursing party. This is a debate. Change the translation, by the way. Just I'm showing you our translation. You change translation, translate like everything change. Since when this is a debate? And by the way, this is about the Messiah, supposedly. Because he cannot debate them. What you will say? You have no answer. Let us curse the one is lying. And Muhammad, when he wanted the Christians to believe in him, he made a threat that Allah will make their faces, he will erase their faces. And the Christian, they were dying laughing. Look at this. Allah, Allah, hey Christians, if you don't believe in Muhammad right now, Allah will erase your eyebrows and your eyes and he will erase your lips and he will make your nose go inside your head and your face will be backward. And the Christian, they were laughing. Okay, tomorrow we will see and nothing happened. I have, uh, I have eyebrows and I have a mouth. False, uh, false, false promise from Allah. Convert now before we do this to you. Um, a Muslim tried to lie. He will say to you, this is about the judgment day. No, you cannot say that. It says the same as we did to the people of the Sabbath. This is not about judgment day. According to the Quran, Allah, he made the Jews and the uh, who did fishing on Saturday, he made them pigs and monkeys. So this is not about later in the judgment day. And by the way, Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing on Saturday. He will not make anyone pig and a monkey for raving women, raving children. This is what Allah is worried about, fishing on Saturday. So fishing on Saturday is a big crime, but raving a woman is not. And when the last time we saw a Jew, he transformed into a monkey for fishing on Saturday. Those are stories for fairy tale stories, and Muhammad, because he have a phobia with the Jews, anything he see around him, he see him as a Jew, including rats. Look at this beautiful story, brother. And here you see how, how smart the prophet of Allah is. The prophet said a group of Israelists were lost. Nobody knows where they what they did. I do not see them except that we are cursed and changed into rats. Okay, why Muhammad you said that? Why? Why Muhammad? How you know that? Allah told you Muhammad, no. This is a private analyst of the prophet who have a PhD in DNA. Muhammad was observing the behavior of the rats and he noticed a lot of similarity between rats and Orthodox Jews. So look what he said. Except that they were cursed and changed into rats for if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if you met the milk of a sheep in the front of it, it will drink it. Conclusion, those rats are Jews. <laughs> <laughs> in different hadith Muhammad he refused to eat a lizard because he thought it's a Jew 
So look at this madness. Once the Jews are rats, once the Jews are lizards, once the Jews are monkeys, once the Jews are, are pigs. That is Muhammad. The one people want to say, I want to convert to Islam. You must be a foolish, stupid idiot. And you are a certified idiot to believe in this cult. And I say it to you with no hesitation. You have to be certified idiot to believe in this. Even Muhammad, another false promise. Muhammad, he says, if you lift your head before the Imam finish the prayer, Allah, he will make your head a head of a donkey. When the last time we saw a Muslim who left his head, every day there's Muslims leave their head before the Imam in every prayer. Muhammad, he made a threat that if you leave your head up before the Imam finish, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. No wonder I see a lot of donkeys around me. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. If you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. And don't forget, please, to download the video immediately after we finish uh, broadcast. It takes maybe 15 to 20 minutes to load the video uh, in YouTube. So you can download it. And after that, you can load it in your page. Feel free to do whatever you wish. Post more, you know, with my videos. You can pause them wherever you wish, but don't claim it for yourself. Please, you know, uh, let people, I mean, don't claim that the channel is there is, is a channel of Christian Prince. So people, they contact you and you, you play Christian Prince. You know, don't do that. It's better if you put a link underneath says, this is the original channel for Christian Prince, so people will know. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And to learn more about the cult of Islam, Feel free to read my books. You can search Amazon.com, Amazon Spain, France, Germany, etc. Christ is Lord, and nothing truthful in the cult. It's called Islam. And here every day we get it busted. Thank you. Bye-bye.